your imagination was meant so that you can see the invisible of God's word and you can picture it. You know, when I first started, <clears throat> there wasn't a lot of people I could get around. And, you know, there were some people out there doing the works of God. But even the ones that were doing it, you couldn't get near them because they had, you know, the bodyguards and had all the stuff. And, or they were many times just at a distance. And so there was no way, nobody I could actually get around. And so the best I could do was start getting a hold of some old VHS videotapes of A. Allen, Jack Coe, William Branham, all these people. And I just put them in and just watched them over and over and over. What was I doing? I was watching, I was getting a vision and I was looking at this and I was allowing my imagination to put me in that place of A. Allen. Whenever he pulled someone out of a wheelchair, I was pulling them out of that wheelchair. I could see me doing it. But see, I could see the invisible. And because I could see the invisible, now I've done the impossible. What does that mean? I've actually, I say pull people out of wheelchairs, but hopefully you don't understand what I mean. We've ministered to them and they have come out of wheelchairs and they've dropped their crutches and take off running and all kinds of other things that are quote unquote impossible. Why? Because I could see the invisible when I started. And I started watching this and watching it and I kept watching it until the invisible became more real than the visible that I was seeing in front of me. See, when I minister to a person, many times I'm not seeing them as they are in, in their physical being at that time. I'm seeing them as the Bible portrays them, that the Bible says they're healed. And so I'm seeing them as healed. Now, obviously, I'm not looking at the physical, because if I was looking at the physical, then I would see what anybody else could see. <clears throat> but instead, I look at them through the filter of God's word. And when I look at them through the filter of God's word, I actually see them <clears throat> as God sees them which is healed, which is whole, which is without whatever the symptoms are or anything else of that situation that they're in. And so as I see that, then I release my faith for that. And that's, I'm seeing the end from the beginning. See, when I start ministering, I'm already seeing the end result, which is them free and healed and whole. And I'm seeing there, if they're in a wheelchair, I'm seeing them up and walking and healthy. See, that's what I'm seeing. Now, obviously, when I say seeing, it's not something you can see physically. You're seeing the invisible. Now, so it's important uh, that you can see the invisible, but the only way you do that is you have to train yourself. Now, see, in your spirit, this comes natural in the spirit, but your soul and your body, your physical eyes, uh, work against you until you train them to submit themselves to your spirit. 